Hello and welcome to GK Today. It has been found that rainwater at several places on the earth is contaminated with a chemical known as per and polyfluoroalkyl substances or in short PFAs according to a recent study published in Environment Science and Technology. This chemical is popularly known as forever chemicals because they have the tendency to stick around in the atmosphere, rainwater and soil for a long period of time. Per and polyfluoroalkyl substances are one of the class of thousands of man-made chemicals that have been around since 1940s. Forever chemicals do not break down which has led to widespread contamination. So now let's see what are PFAs. According to the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention, per and polyfluoroalkyl substances are man-made chemicals used to make non-stick cookwares, water repellent clothing, stain-resistant fabrics, cosmetics, firefighting forms, and many other products that resist grease, water, and oil. Per and polyfluoroalkyl substances can migrate to the soil, water, and air during their production and use. Since most PFAs do not break down, they remain in the environment for a long period of time. Some of these PFAs can build up in people and animals if they are repeatedly exposed to the chemicals. So, what are PFAs used in? PFAs are used in a wide range of consumer products due to their ability to repel both grease and water. In paper and cardboard food packaging industry like pizza, popcorn, bag, etc. In non-stick cookwares, in textiles making waterproof outdoor clothing, in cosmetics, you know, like hair conditioners, in electronics like smartphones. What harm do PFAs cause? A variety of health risks that are attached to per and polyfluoroalkyl substances include decreased fertility, developmental effects in children, interference with body hormones, increased cholesterol levels, and increased risk of some cancers like kidney and testicular cancer. Increased cholesterol level and damage to the liver and immune system are the worst. Recent research also revealed that long-term, long exposure to certain PFAs can make it difficult for humans to build antibodies after being vaccinated against various diseases. Do we need to worry about PFAs in the rainwater in India? The recent published research article did not include studies of samples collected in India. The nature of PFAs and the wide geographical breadth of samples and the nature of PFAs means that the results can be extrapolated to India. So, how can these chemicals be removed from rainwater? Actually, there is no method that can extract and remove PFAs from the atmosphere. There are many effective expensive methods to remove them from rainwater. Only one way to do this would be to use a filtration system with activated carbon. The activated carbon will need to be removed and replaced regularly. The old contaminated material must be destroyed. That's all in today's session. See you soon.